Hi, this is James from ESC Social and I'm talking to two absolutely amazing people. Um, and I'm, I'm talking to Ari and Netta, but it's not the Ari and Netta you think I'm talking to. Ari, you Hi. are. I am Ari. And your surname is? Burstein. Burstein. Lovely yes. surname. And Netta? Nimrodi. Nimrodi. Yeah. What a beautiful Great. name. Thank it's you. like something out of Nimrod. It's something out of um, um, something classical music. That it's is. Uh, uh, Persian, I think. Right? It's Persian. Yeah. yeah. Right. I now, <laughs> you, you have both written a song. <laughs> And let's, 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 let's take this back a little bit. Okay. Your, you, well, your nationality is? Israeli. Israeli? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yours is also yeah. Israeli? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. You live? In Berlin. Berlin. In Berlin. Yes. Germany. You speak with an American accent. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <I'm> mad. <laughs> <laughs> and you've written a song for Russia. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, Do thank share. you very much. <laughs> so how did that come about, Harry? Um, well, what happened was uh, we were lucky enough also to write last year's entry to the Eurovision, uh, Flame is Burning. Right. We also co-wrote that with uh, Leonid Gutkin. But I think you have to go like a little bit... Even further. Further yeah. back. All yeah. right, let's go even further back. All right, so... We moved from Israel to Berlin uh, for music. I take, this, I take this. I take. I take it that you're a couple. Yes, yes. we're married. Okay. You're married. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. So um, we moved to Berlin to make music and to start a career. And uh, pretty in a very short amount of period of time, uh, we were very lucky to uh, sign with a publisher over there in Germany, a very big publisher. And uh, from there, actually, things just started happening. And we were always telling our publisher. Um, our A and R over there. His name is Leo, and we're saying, Leo, we really want to get into the Eurovision. That is one of our goals at our dreams, the Eurovision. He's like, oh, okay, let me see what I can do for you. Let's see. Da, 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 mm -hmm. I mean, it's a tough what, what is the thing about Eurovision that made you want to get into that particular? Well, it's the greatest, like, it's the greatest song competition, competition in the world. In the world. Well, we know that. Yeah. I know. We know so that too. Everybody should know A that. Songwriters, <laughs> exactly. Songwriters know that too. I mean, you get, in the Eurovision, you get the chance to write, um, you get to write uh, a little bit more out of the box and you get to really be creative. Yeah. Not only write what's happening right now. As songwriters, we're both professional songwriters, so a lot of times what happens is, you know, we write songs, but then you have to start, you know, molding the songs to be more current, if yeah, more radio, more, radio, more yeah. radio. With Eurovision, I'm not saying that Eurovision isn't radio, uh, aren't radio songs, but you can be more, more um, creative. More flexible. Think a little bit outside of the box. Exactly, exactly. So, so what is your normal style then, if, you, if you're thinking out of the box? For, for Europe. So well, let's do it in two different, like... Uh, in two parts? In two parts. Uh, yeah, of course. We, uh, we have our own uh, act. Um, we go by Amber Revival. That's our act name. And we do kind of... That's why I store in the emails, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah it's a folk, a little bit of R&B, uh, just a personal style, what we like to share together as... as um, vocalist and as writers. Oh, you sing as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're cool. we're trained vocalists. We have um, a bachelor in music with like. Yeah. Yeah. I wish okay. somebody could train me how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> sing. I sing. I sing enthusiastically. Ah, it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds awful, but never mind. So um, our main. Um, Actually, we start both as singers. As singers, so for, yeah. We, we have, you know, so, um, but then uh, we very quickly got also into songwriting because we just fell in love with the craft. Yeah, and we, we, we were had, lucky. We, we had, had like a couple of projects. So we had a, a funk band and um, um, a, like a rock band or how would you call it? It was know. a rock, we had a rock project and we were going on tour and everything. But uh, I think we were just feeling so much, we were, we really like to be creative. Yeah going back to the Eurovision about creativity so we were just writing songs all the time so um, we got signed with the publisher and then we told the publisher hey we really want to write for the Eurovision, Eurovision yeah. and then one day he calls us up he's like listen guys um, I just got a, an email from a guy called Leonid Gutkin do you know him? Now, of course, we knew who Leonid Gutkin is. Yeah. Leonid Gutkin is one of the co-writers of A Million Voices. Oh, and and he, lovely and, song, beautiful song. And, and more songs. I forgot the names now. But um, he also wrote What If, I think. Yes. That is my theme song, if ever there was one. Yeah? Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's a fantastic, he's a very, very well-known songwriter. So he's like, and, and, and a fantastic guy. Yes. Yeah. 
one of our favorite human Give him my number. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then we really got, uh, we so he got us in touch with Leonid, and there was a click right away. Yeah. Right away from the top, there was a click, and we started just throwing ideas back and forth. Kind of and writing songs, mm -hmm. being friends, I think. Was yeah, the main more thing. Than, yeah. And um, so that's the way Flame so is the, Burning. So was, this, oh, so that happened like two years ago. Yeah, that was the, a, on the on the lead into that. Yeah, that was Flame is Burning, and then came the whole. Um, then happened the, 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 you know, the whole debacle. You know exactly yeah. the Ukraine. Which they should yeah. not bring politics into. It. We're not going to talk politics. We're, we're not. not we're not. In that but we we love that song, and we, the song is still yeah, it's still, so, still good. You know, yeah. it's still it's still a Eurovision song. Mm -hmm. Whether it made it to the to the final or not, it's, yeah. it's irrelevant. Yeah. You know, it's still one of those songs. Yeah. And um, so. The year after that, Leonid uh, gave us a call and he was asking, would, would we like to get another try? You know it. So yeah. by this time, you'd also, you, 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 you knew you, Julia. Yes. Uh, yeah, we, we, we you, You'd met her, obviously, for the previous song. So you, you knew her, you knew her character mm -hmm. a little bit, mm -hmm. and you knew her style. Yeah, and her, her kind of voice, which she's able, capable of doing, and what she likes, mostly. Yes, of course. So it was a little bit easier. You're playing to, to, to the strengths. Yes, yeah. exactly. So. And yeah. we were very much focused on yeah. Yulia with this song. Mm -hmm. With the previous song, Flame is Burning, we had no idea who was going to sing the song. Yeah. Right. They, they announced the singer like two days before like the final, and we had to record it, boom, 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 like, oh my in no days. time. Yeah. This time we knew it was going to be Yulia, and we actually, Leonid, got to uh, talk with Yulia, and really we really tried to figure out what it is that she wants to say. And she said, I want to talk about my life, you know, being in the situation that I am in, and I really want to know people to know that I've been through, you know, hell in my yeah. life. Yeah, but I fought through it and then um, with Leonie together we really came up with this idea about it being a song about not breaking and we tried to imagine Yulia while writing it so I mean you know I've flown with kings and queens with freedom in their eyes I mean that was really important for us to say because Yulia is, is, is she's like a princess yeah. honestly you know she, she's like a little doll exactly but also I mean she's so if you she meet is, her she's She's, she's such a proud generous. person and generous yeah. and so um, she's even like a, a rebel in, in yeah, a way and she's you know? a rebel oh, and she's, I can a imagine. Fighter she's, she's a fighter yeah. so we wanted to give that you know yeah. that she mm. is like it looks like a, um, a castle in the sand but it's it's made of stone and rock and exactly yeah it's, it was important for us no. to give all those metaphors for, for her for exactly yeah. I have no idea I've got absolutely no idea I wouldn't know where to start and the fact that you can tap into that vein of humanity her personality and everything like that it I'm lost for words thank and you. of course you're not thankfully because <laughs> <laughs> because you can write them and I wouldn't know where to write them but of course thank the, you. because the, but the music as well it, it symbolizes symbolizes how it goes and I, I always say to people if, if you can sing a song in another language mm -hmm. and and you get the meaning mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Like last year with Salvador yeah, Sobral, uh, with the with the two Portuguese girls this year, with yeah. the French song uh, Mercy. Yeah. Do you get the meaning? Yeah. And is there a Russian version of this as well? Uh, well, uh, it was we talked about it for mm -hmm. a little while, and uh, Yulia decided together with the team that she prefers that it will be in English yeah. for now because she wanted to get the message out to the course, world, exactly. to the yeah. widest possible. Uh, exactly. it's, yes, of it's, it's, it's open. It's definitely not an option. It's definitely an option. There, there do, you, do you speak Russian? I speak uh, Russian from home, but it's because my parents are formerly from uh, from the USSR. But uh, everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. I know how to say watermelon. <laughs> she knows how to say watermelon in Russian. Okay, yeah. that's useful. Do so you get it. many watermelons in Russia? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in Israel, you have a lot of watermelon. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. useful. <laughs> Arbus. Uh, Arbus. 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 Right, babe? Ooh, I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not only a singing lesson, but it's also yeah. a, a language lesson as well. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. It's really fun working with the Russian delegation. They're so professional. Yeah. And they're so generous. And they, they really listen to, to what you have to say. You know, they really want to know, uh, you know, what do you think, what do you think? They really try to build a team around Yulia and really try to bring the best people and they uh, they really want the best for her. Of and course they do. So it's, it's really great, yeah. you know? Yeah. To host again would be awesome for them. Oh, yeah. I know yeah. it would. Um, uh, I was talking to one of the heads of delegation the other day and they're saying how expensive it is to, to, to put on Eurovision. It doesn't always make a profit, mm. but, but it's not about that. It's about bringing the people together, yeah. as always, mm -hmm. every time. Yeah. And the focus on that that country, that, that city, yeah. Yeah. and everybody it brings, and then the knock-on effect of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because oh, mm, I saw that on the television, I'd like to go there, it looks yeah. really good. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, no, I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's, 
the here the organization here has been just been fantastic but mm -hmm. I don't know I mean this is our first Eurovision right so um, do you do it again of course, of course. That's, yeah. that, that's not even a question. No. <laughs> of course. When will when will you do it again? Should you, be well, yeah, absolutely. next year, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the great thing is you you probably noticed as well, and I always talk about it as well that it is a family. Yeah, yeah. And it's it not is. it's not artists and fans. Mm -hmm. We're all in it together. Exactly. It's a that is amazing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That is so amazing. We that's didn't know amazing. that how how close everyone is. You know. You yeah. try and express it to somebody. And you know, like I've got friends in the UK, and you t I, why do you like Eurovision so much? They, they get me on the radio, they talked about it. Why do, what, what is it about Eurovision? Can't we just come and find out. Yeah, just mm -hmm. come yeah, and you don't. have to be it's, here. Of course, you have to be here to get to get the spirit of it. Very, it is, very much. It is, well, I always mention Spirit of the Night. That was last year from uh, San Marino. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But Spirit the, of the night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that song. <laughs> it was cool. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a fun girl. She yeah, was a yeah. fun girl. They, it's yeah. her third time that was, wasn't it? I know, I know. Be is she in actually San Marie? San, San, San Marie? San Marini. Is she from San Marino? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I know, she, I know she lived in London for a little while, ah, but then okay. lots of people do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, but really, honestly, it's, it's an amazing family. Everybody is just so nice. Yeah. And everybody you talk to, everybody really wants the best for you, and that is the greatest thing. Because the music business is a little rough. Uh, to 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 you know to to be uh, to honest. be gen to be gentle. I mean to say it gently. <laughs> gently. The, the, the music business can be very rough and yeah. very you know com competitive. Not that this isn't a competition, but it's I feel it's a healthy competition. It's, it is. Yeah. What I yeah. like is is I mean this is the fifth year I've done Eurovision. I've been to Eurovision. Mm -hmm. This is the first year I've done it as press. Mm -hmm. Last year I was back here as a fan, mm -hmm. so I was getting to meet people. But not to interview people uh, enough. Yeah. So what I found this year is I'm recognising lots of faces around mm. here. Yeah. People in the delegations is what I recognise, and it's just like. And sometimes you know the artist comes back. Mm -hmm. You know, like Johnny Logan is the obvious example. Mm -hmm. you know, he yeah, comes yeah. back and comes back. Um, Cliff Richard, way back when I was before you were even born, <laughs> came back, didn't win. But lots of artists have come back, and it, it is. It's always with you. Yeah. It's always with you. And what's more. Um, in years to come, you know, when there's parties at other places, you're welcome there as well. Yeah. Always. And, you know, there'll be parties in Lisbon. Um, uh, I think Oge uh, are putting on parties and stuff. And they're bringing yeah. in artists from previously. Previous yeah. years. Yeah. It's all part of the family. It's, it's really it's, great. And it's, it's that recognition and stuff. Yeah, it is. It is really something unique. Awesome. Nothing like it in the world. Indeed. Honestly. Definitely not. Definitely Honestly, not. nothing like it. <laughs> well, Ari. Yes. Hi. Letter. Thank you so much for your time. It's Thank been you. a total pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As always. And, Thank you so and, uh, much. And we'll do this again. Absolutely. We'll do this again whenever we can. And, Absolutely. And, we'll, and of course, when she wins, we'll do a little chat as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. We, we have, still have a, a lot of time. time here. <laughs> a lot of time, yeah. yeah. We'll thoroughly carry on enjoying Lisbon and, uh, we will. And, and get out and see some places. Yes. I'm sure you've been a few, few places as well. Yeah, yeah. A few. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go to the ocean. Up there on the cable car. Yeah. There, yeah, right. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, you've done that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little scary, but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with heights. <laughs> yeah, I'm also afraid of heights, but that was okay. But you decided to move the cart. Yeah, I, I, I decided because yeah, I'm that very hyperactive. So I was like, oh, what's this? What's this? And then the whole cart just started going. Oh right my to god. Left. And no. then at some point, was just like, <clears throat> stop going! Stop moving! You, went in, you were in the mall. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you go up to the floor where they've got those bridges with the glass? glass no, bridges? no, oh no, no. I don't do that. No. Right, that was this awful. is going to happen next. I walked, <laughs> I, I, I walked on the bridge and it moved, and I thought, right, I'm getting off this bridge. Now. <laughs> I did a little film, like 30 seconds. I'm getting off this bridge yeah. right now. I don't this need. Is not good. This is not good. I will not do this. <laughs> Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you so thank you. Absolute pleasure. And like Absolutely. this, and like that. All right, all right. This, <laughs> and like that. And I love it. Oh, yeah. Go. We forgot this one, right? Yeah. You guys so you do like another a, one? Like this, yeah. like this, and then you yeah. snap. Oh my god, how can I do that? I can't get my... There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> also, another one as well with yeah. Netta. You can do it. Practice me.